right? So we have our movement from here, out, back, forward, and again on the other side. Now, what do we do here? How do we put this whole thing together? First, let's do the absolute simple bit, which is the footwork. It's the same footwork we've been doing. From here, we're holding the ball, and we step out, pivot, and we're going forward, back, forward, back, forward. That's it. It's a simple state of forward, back, forward, back, forward. The hands are just doing some interesting things here. The easiest way to get this first bit, and go ahead and line yourself up so that your right foot is 45 degrees from where you're stepping, and you step out. Just put the left arm out like you're hugging a pillow and push forward. That's our feel right there. So we're pushing forward like we're hugging a pillow here. The head is still up, all other rules apply. So we're back, we can bring this hand up. It's a little different. This was before, this is now. So we're holding this space from here, reach the arms up and there's going to be a bit of a sink. We're pulling down, think of if you were tug of roping or you were trying to pull somebody heavy, you wouldn't want to be up here and get tugged along. You would want to sink down and drag them with you. So that's our movement. From here, we're forward, sink, pull back. It's a very receptive posture. Think here, we're open, soft, head is up, feet are solid, our knees are bent, and we bring the hands so that the hands cross at the wrist, and we simply push this arm forward again. Opening, pulling back, down, and from here, it's an optical illusion that you go down super far. The knee just bends how it's comfortable, and you push forward as the arms come up. So let's do that again. We're here, we're holding the ball, right hand is on top. We step, sink and pull back, bring the hand to the wrist, push forward. Good. And from here, we open, pull back. Notice this is mostly body, and then the hands come down. That lets us sink and forward. The heel is still on the ground. Our shoulders are still soft. Our head is still up, and we come back. There we go. We change position a little bit, but we'll do it on that same side. So I'll get over here so you get a slightly different camera angle. So from here, we are holding the ball with our right hand on top, left hand on the bottom. We step forward and all rules apply. Heel is down, head is up, knee is over the front foot. Reach, pull and sink, drop your center around, receptive posture, back to the wrist, sink and push forward. The feeling of this is like you're pushing a heavy door. Open the hands up. Back, down, and push forward. Excellent. So let's do that a few times, nice and fast here.
we're in Tai Chi fast. We're in step, push, back, cross, push, open, back, push. Excellent. We're back. Left hands on the bottom. Step, push, pull, push, back, push. We'll open up. We'll come back so the left hand is on the bottom. Step, push, back, Push, open, forward. And in reality, what we'll be doing is coming around to the other side where we step forward and now the right arm and the right leg push forward. We reach back, sink. Make sure that left knee bends as you sink down, back. Cross, from the legs, push forward, open, pull back, down, push forward. Excellent. And we're back. We'll do that again from a different angle. The right arm is underneath. We'll step forward with the right leg. Push forward, reach back, push forward, open, down, forward. We'll come back, forward, back, forward, back, and forward. Excellent. With that, keep practicing those moves. If you don't have the steps down, just keep working on them. You've got plenty of repetition. You've got all the rock stepping, and now you've got this bit here. Really allow yourself to get comfortable back, forth, back, forth. It shows up a lot.